Okay, just about three days ago, four days ago, harassing Guam in issue. This is an update. Hey guys, this is an update on selling and a fever. About five days ago, Harrison Guamin issue came out and put something out on his uh, Instagram page and say he just fly to Abuja to the IGP office. They have an update on selling and a fever, right? It's because week in, week out, I have been calling Nigerian police out and I have been calling Harrison Guamin issue out. This guy here, I've been calling him out for the part he play on Celine and Afiba and Andu death. I've been calling this guy out. A lot of you guys don't really know what I know. The police in Nigeria know what I know. The people that are concerned know what I know. And they know what I know is authentic. No matter how much green screen Harrison is trying to use, forming a Hajai 2,000 people on WhatsApp group to insult my page and spam my page with insult, it's not going to stop the truth. I have told you guys before that there are three departmental of people that know exactly what happened to Selene and Afiba. The police that collected Andrew, blessing Afiba and Selene friend, Harrison, Guamin issue. Know what is going on. And do you know who is exposing them? Me, Mr. Ben. And I've been telling you guys about this, and a lot of you guys don't really understand what I know here. Okay? This is just a quick one for you guys. Blessing wrote a petition on the 10th, on the 10th of May to remove Andrew, the suspect, from Umaya to Abuja. Harrison got involved on the 11th of May. The person that introduced Harrison to Celine family is a friend to blessing. Open your ear. The person that connects Celine family to contact Harrison to get involved in the case is a friend to blessing. Now they got in touch with Harrison. They paid Harrison money. It was not free. Harrison did not do any charity. They paid him money to highlight the disappearance of Afiba and Celine. Let Harrison come out and say he did it for free. He collected over a million. Harrison was transferred all of the money on the 15th of May. Now, ask yourself, if you are paid to talk about something as important as two missing people, when do you talk about it? Ask yourself now if you guess common color color for head. Because so everybody mumu thunder. If they pay Harrison to talk about Celine and Afiba, and his payment enter his account on the 15th, make one ask Harrison why he did not talk about them on that 15th, on the 16th, on the 17th, on the 18th, on the 19th, on the 20, on the 21st, but on the 22nd. Why Harrison choose not to talk about Celine and Afiba while Landu was still in detention? Why Harrison refused to publish? Andrew, the missing girl from the 15, they paid him his money to the 22nd. On the 21st, this same police officer that blessing initiated, he took Andrew from Umaya. The same police officer that finally paid him took Andrew from Umaya. Immediately they took Andrew on that 21st. On the 22nd, Harrison made the first post about Selena and Afiba. Go and watch the post. Harrison was not talking about Selena and Afiba. He was trying to condemn Andrew. How bad Andrew was. How evil in UK. How evil. How he has been doing this to girls. Then he quickly brought a girl to come and bear witness. Open your head. Oh yeah. Go to Harrison page. Ask Harrison, why did you collect money on the 15th and you refused to post about the two girls all the way to the 22nd after Andrew was already been taken by your own fellow comrade, the kidnapper's officer that finally pie Andrew. So Harrison was working. Also ask Harrison, why was he calling blessing on the phone 
Why did he call blessing on the 21st? Why is he calling blessing on the 23rd? Tell Harrison I have his phone record. Harrison, Guaminishu is a kidnapper. Take it from me. I will expose you. If you not like, make sure you sort. The page is open. Insert, insert, insert. The truth is coming out. Una must release Afiba and Selene. Now, now they keep them. Thunder fire all of them there.